Hey everybody, welcome to another review. Um, I got a request last week to test a vast and um, Komodo together. So what I did is I downloaded the Avast free version. I uh, updated it, as you can see. It says uh, updated as it's going to be. That was the last signature. Updated two minutes ago. Then I also went and downloaded Komodo Firewall. And um, what I did is I only ran the firewall and uh, with the sandbox, but no antivirus. No, uh, antivirus. So everything is installed and updated. Uh, pr pretty straightforward. So let's get to testing. I think I have like 13 fairly fresh links here. And we'll see what we can do, what kind of damage we can do. Okay, that was blocked. That was blocked by uh, a vast. Move on here. And now we're getting a um, defense malware heuristics. So Avast completely missed that. But Komodo here came into action. Possible malware behavior. So we will block that. Try to run it, nothing will happen. That was a rootkit, and that was blocked. And there's another rootkit. Oh, no, spyware. That last link must have tried to load up something twice. blocked. Looks like that one is dead. Yep. That one's blocked. And that was blocked. And uh, there you go. There's the heuristics for Defense Plus. Let's detect possible malware behavior. So we will block that. And here we go. Uh, once again, it uh, Defense Plus came into action. Internet Explorer is trying to execute this uh, file. Uh, it says the application uh, Internet Explorer is safe, but the file could not be recognized. So I want to try something here. I want to see if I let it go past Defense Plus, if the sandbox will catch it or Avast will catch it. So I'm going to allow it right now. And let's see what happens. Okay, it's trying to execute it again. Let's see what happens here. Oh, looks like
looks like we got something going on in the background. It's right there running. All right. Oh, here we go. Defense plus again. So we can uh, we can block it now. So defense plus so far has um, put up three alerts on that file while nothing from Avast. It just shows you what happens when you're relying on signatures. Don't know if uh, that website is working or not, so I'll let it load. I'll open up a new tab. There's another thing from Defense Plus. I wonder if this is... Okay, for some odd reason this is unchecked. Which is weird. Um, if you don't put um, automatically unknown applications into Sandbox, it will keep asking you questions. So let's try that last link again. Okay, here we go. It's trying to execute the program. Where are my settings are? Safe mode, safe mode, okay. So let's just allow it because it's executing the program. Once again, it's telling me that I'm going to execute the program. And you see it's just giving you continuous alerts about, well, this file is a new executable. We don't know what we want and you know what it's going to do. So I want to see here, let's just see what happens if I allow it. Okay, so here you go. Now it's starting to get real nasty. It's starting to modify registry keys and other things. So you can you can block it from there. And then the one nice feature of, about Komodo, you can always just go in here, find your file. Okay, where to go? There you go, you can go to View Active Processes. We can go, man, what is that file? Oh, it's this file. Terminate and block. Should have got rid of all of them. Let's make sure here. There's, there we go. Now it's all gone. So as you can see, Avast actually let some of these squeak by. Um, you know that was kind of what I expected. So what I'm going to do now is uh, basically this video is done and over with. I'm going to put up one more video testing these exact same URLs against Komodo with the antivirus engine installed. So I will see you guys in another video. Take care.